Hey, Bloodstrike Gamers. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Zomskull, here, and today we're gonna take a look at one of the most important aspects of improving your gameplay, sensitivity settings. In this video, I'll show you the best sensitivity guide ever, so you'll never have to worry about your settings again. So, grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get started. Alright guys, first up, let's break down the sensitivity settings in Bloodstrike. There are three main sections we need to look at, basic sensitivity, camera sensitivity, and firing sensitivity. I'll explain what each of these does and share my recommendations for the best settings. In the basic sensitivity settings, we have a few options to configure. Let's go through them one by one. Sensitivity switching. Switch on ADS. This means your sensitivity will change as soon as you aim down sights. It's great for quick transitions. Switch after ADS. Your sensitivity changes after you've aimed down sights. This can be helpful for more controlled aiming. Switch gradually on ADS. This option gradually changes your sensitivity as you aim down sights. It's a smooth transition. I recommend switch on ADS because it gives you a quick and responsive feel when you aim. Sensitivity acceleration mode. Fixed speed keeps your aiming speed consistent. Perfect for anyone who hates mouse acceleration. Distance boost increases speed based on how far you move your mouse. Great for large movements. Speed boost increases speed the faster you move your mouse. Useful for quick reflexes. I prefer fixed speed because it gives you predictable control, which is essential for accuracy. Universal sensitivity preset. Low, medium, high, custom, these settings depend on how you like to play. If you prefer high sensitivity, go for the high setting. If you like low sensitivity, pick the low setting. And if you want something in between, choose medium. It's all about what feels right for you. Pick the one that suits your style. In my case, it is set to high. I usually play on low sensitivity, but the high sensitivity setting feels low for me because my mouse DPI is set to 800. Next, let's move on to camera sensitivity settings. This is all about how your view moves. Here's how mine are set up. Advanced mode, off. Keep this off for a simpler setup. Sensitivity levels. If you've set the sensitivity to high, your slider will be at 36, just like mine. If you set it to medium, it will be at 30, and if it's on low, it will be at 24. I prefer keeping all the sliders at the same level, whether it's high, medium, or low. But if low sensitivity feels too high for you, you can lower them all. Just remember to keep all the sliders the same. For example, if you change one slider to 20, make sure all the others are at 22. This keeps the sensitivity consistent, making it easier for your muscle memory to master aiming. Mixing high and low settings will make it harder for your muscle memory to adjust. Personally, I like high sensitivity, so I keep all my sliders at 36. Section 4, Firing Sensitivity Settings Finally, we have Firing Sensitivity Settings. These control your sensitivity when you're firing your weapon. Again, let's go through the settings. Advanced mode, off. We'll keep this off just like in camera sensitivity for a simpler setup. Sensitivity levels. Also, make sure to keep these sliders the same as your camera sensitivity settings. If you change these sliders, your sensitivity will go up or down when you fire, which will mess up your aim. So, just remember to set these sliders to the same numbers as your camera sensitivity settings to keep everything consistent. This way, your aim stays steady and your muscle memory can work its magic. Now, let's talk about practice. Sensitivity settings are only part of the equation. You need to practice to get used to these settings. Here are some tips. Warm up. Spend 10 to 15 minutes warming up before you play. Use aim trainers or practice in-game. Consistency. Stick with your settings. Don't change them too often. Review. Watch your gameplay replays to see where you can improve. Consistency is crucial. The more you play with these settings, the better you'll get. 
I'd love to hear from you. What sensitivity settings do you use? Drop your settings in the comments below. Let's help each other improve. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and guides. That's all for today, guys. Remember, the right sensitivity settings can make a huge difference in your gameplay. Take some time to experiment with these settings and find what works best for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay sharp and keep gaming. Peace out.